Nation, man, Kilogram, right? Hey, Raleigh, you gave me the superhero music on this one. Ah, we back up Stuyvesant, 801st side. Killer, killer, killer. Las Vegas flights, Miami trips. When I touch down in Houston, niggas hand me bricks. I don't understand my plug, he on some Spanish shit. He don't give a fuck a Morano, we understand I'm rich. Even though I sell weight, I hand in hand a strip. This is big facts, no cap, go ask Graham and Flip. It started on Exton with a gram of yay. Step my game up, we shooting craps at the Mandalay. Where? With your bay, but tomorrow we back in LA. Holla at my essay on the west side to make a play. You try to stop this cake, they have you wake the day. One phone call to my dog, you know the K is spray. I'm always on the aisle and that's my day to day. Feds trying to build them a case, them niggas in the way. Mad cause the ad did a hundred K within a day. Saying man, my dad sold the hustle in my DNA. Uh, but y'all don't know what a loss is. 14 bricks, I fumbled and made me nauseous. Next day, cop 15, that's what a boss Yo, it's your man Kilogram. You better not lie, podcast. Um, first of all, free the homie Big Meech. Welcome home. You know what I mean? That 15 feel like it just happened yesterday. You Make heard? sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. First of all, to all the trolls that's saying I got handled, I got kids, he talked to me crazy. Like, listen, I'm off that. It's cool. It happened. It is what it is. I'm not stressing that. I threw up my clip where it clearly shows that I talked, I told Hassan how I felt, and I stood my ground as a man, okay? I don't care about the other three hours where he was venting, he was talking spicy. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. I'm here to address the live today, and I got a few points that I want to um, address. Um, first, we're going to skip all the way to I'm going to leave you in the alley. I should have left him in the alley. Yo, Hassan, really, you my man 50 grand, but I did nothing. I did nothing grimy to you, bro. All I did was bring a situation to you to help you grow. All of this gangster talk about leaving me in the alley and all this other stuff like that, even though you said on your live that you didn't mean it, you just making an example out of something, but I think it's unnecessary. This shit is going somewhere else, bro, with your language. Because how do you take a nigga like me that's been loyal to you and try to twist me to the public like I'm a snake? Like, at the end of the day, you turning this into Bullets Gotti versus Hassan. Like, this ain't that, bro. You turning this into something that is not. I don't have no beef with you, kid. You trying to create a beef with me when at the end of the day, I'm the nigga sitting on the live that's on your side. So at the end of the day, like the narrative about me giving the link up, I didn't give the link up. You know that. You know Loose told you that he gave the link to whack, but at the same time, and I know you said this on your live, you accepted whack. You didn't have to accept whack. I don't understand why today I wake up and I'm being blamed again for being um, a backdoor artist, shady. This is going somewhere else, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's unnecessary. Another point I want to address is that you said Kilogram wants the fame so much it blinds him. Haas, respectfully. Haas, I have record deals. I've been on 106 and Park. Okay, let's do 106 and Park. Right now we have a new joint from an up-and-coming rapper. He goes by the name of Kilogram. The new joint of the day is Kilogram featuring Nino Breeze, My Life. Let's see it. <laughs> BT Double XL Source Magazine. I got songs with Gilly the Kid. I got songs with Mayno. I got songs with Naughty by Nature. You know what I mean? I got songs with Little Flip, PD Crack. You know what I'm saying? Oskino. You know what I'm saying? I got some. I got songs in production by platinum producers and platinum artists. I, you know, I've 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 already been signed to Atlantic. You know what I'm saying? Signed to Red Zone Entertainment. I've been around entertainment and fame since I was 18 years old. You know what I mean? It's th This ain't about fame with me. It's not wanting the fame. I'm an interviewer. I interview artists and celebrities, ball players, NBA players. That's what I do. That's not wanting the fame. That's, that's just doing my job. Loose Cannon is an artist. Wack is an entrepreneur. You know, they will add value to my platform if I interview them. That's all my job is to interview. It ain't got nothing to do with fame. It's about me being a journalist. 
I run across people that are influential. They got things going on in the media and I interview them. It's not about the fame. I can't let you sell that narrative that I'm fame drunk. You know what I'm saying? You know that about me. I'm not fame drunk. I'm not looking for some big payday off this shit, bro. This is what I love to do. I got over 20 something years in the music business, bro. Really certified, really stamped. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, let's clear, let's clean that narrative up. It's never about fame with me, bro. I'm doing my job. You do something totally different than me. You have a platform where you can sit in, in, in your in your studio, in your house, and you can just talk to the people and they love it. And they, they run up the numbers. They give you um, super chats and money and all that. You've built your, your, your channel like that. Salute to you, bro. My job is an interviewer. You can't say that I'm chasing I'm chasing fame because I want to interview people if I have a podcast. That's just what it is. I'm hearing you say like, you warned me, you warned me, you warned me, and you did all of this warning of me. At the end of the day, Haas, Loose, Whack, Flacco, anybody that I've been doing interviews with, this is business, bro. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to warn me for nothing. This is business. We had conversations before these interviews happened. Me and you had several conversations before they happened. When these interviews are happening with me, I'm calling you to share the news. All of a sudden, I put a I put a reaction out and I'm using terminology like my brother. I understand his pain. I know where he was coming from. Then you get on your live and talk about, oh, yeah, I leave him in the alley and ah, 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 he just wants the fame. And why are you calling me Little Flip? That's not my name. I don't know where you got Little Flip from. My name is Kilo Graham. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I did a song with Little Flip. I also got a record with Little Flip. You know what I'm saying? But my nickname is not Little Flip. So I don't know where you got that from. But at the end of the day, Haas is like, listen, I talked to you today. I was in Brooklyn all day running around. And I wanted us to get on live. You said we should go on live and, and, and clear the air. I'm all for that. But I'm not for these shenanigans, bro. Because at the end of the day, I was loyal. I did nothing to you. I don't care what trolls write in these comments about, oh, Graham ain't like that. Graham back door. Graham this. Graham let it grow, man. Listen, I stood down on that live because of, the, because of my loyalty to Hassan. That's it. You feel me? I seen that. When it went bad, he blamed me. That shit happens. He blamed me. Am I less of a man because I stood down and I ain't cursing? Tell him, suck my dick and all that? No, I'm not less of a man because I was filling the situation out. I was saying, is this nigga serious? Seriously, is this nigga serious where I constructed this plan for my man to expand his brand and he... and. and, and when it goes left off of some shit that he let niggas up, it's kilogram fault now. So I can't let you keep painting that narrative, Haas. It's unnecessary, bro. Seriously, it's unnecessary for you to keep painting the narrative that I'm a snake. I crossed you. I let niggas in your house. I can't let nobody in your house if you're controlling the links and controlling the button to hit accept. I can't do it. I didn't even see the people in the chat. You agree, You even admitted that you said, yo, when Wack jumped in the live, we both were surprised. We got 45 minutes of good content with me, you, Wack, and Loose, where everybody's talking positive. So at that point, when it turned positive and it was good, it was all good until it went bad. Now on the live, who can I blame for this? Graham, because Graham brought these niggas to me. But at the same time, Haas, when I interviewed Loose Cannon, you said, yo, why didn't you? You should have put me on that live with you and Loose when y'all did that interview. I like son. That's what you told me. Now, all of a sudden, I'm bringing these niggas to you and you got a problem like that. You know, like this is going too far, bro. Like this, this is really going too far. The comments on, on, on Facebook, YouTube, all of that is painting me out to be a snake, bro. I built my reputation being a stand-up guy all my life, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, listen, at the end of the day, tomorrow, 
if you want to, we need to go live to clear the air. If you don't want to clear the air, then it, it's going to be what it's going to be. But at the end of the day, I could sleep at night, Haas, because I know I was loyal to the situation. All right. I paid my debt to society. I was loyal. You feel me? I paid my debt. I'm answering all the DMs. I'm answering all the, the slick comments from niggas. I'm taking the shots because I didn't want to have a public, you know, uh, a public argument back and forth with a nigga who I felt helped me. But now it seems like you helped me, but now you're trying to help destroy me. Remember, Haas, just like you got daughters, I got daughters. Just like you got a son, you know what I'm saying? You got a wife, I got people who love me too. And, I, and my thing is, if, I, if, if my name is going to be slandered for something, please let it be for something that I actually did. The only thing I'm guilty of is bringing people to you that I felt like, you know what, Haas, it's time to expand. You uh, you, you saw me interview Loose. Oh, you, you you wanted to be on that live? or You you know what I mean? Listen, I could plug y'all too and y'all can get an interview in too. You know what I'm saying? What's, what did I do wrong? I'm sharing the light. I, I had a plug. I shared it with my brother. Now when it goes wrong, I'm the biggest snake in, in America. Like, I can't let you run that narrative because... My reaction was protecting you. Your reaction was, was throwing me under the bus. Like, this, I don't care. Look, you could go crazy on me tomorrow. I'm not responding to this no more, bro, because I know what I did, Haas. You feel me? I've been rocking with you, you know, on the podcast tip, on the media tip for like four years. And I've always been stand up. Now, all of a sudden, I'm the worst nigga in America. You know what I'm saying? If it's content, if this is what you're doing for content, it is what it is. But me and you, we better than this, Haas. You feel me? We better than this, bro. You, this is, this is, we better than what you're doing because you're spinning the narrative to make me look crazy. And that's just not what it is. So at the end of the day, that's all I got for y'all, man. I just came on here to... um speak my piece again and I'm tired of I'm tired of it already now it's still being spent like it's still being spent like oh yeah yeah I did that because it is no Haas you let them niggas on the platform when you gave me the link you sent it to Loose too Loose admitted to you already he said yo I sent Wax seen us on live and he said send the link to me but guess what even when he sent it Wack can't join unless you hit the button. Now, you said you hit the button. And, and, and I can verify that you do have trouble with your vision. Even if you did it on an accident, I don't hold you accountable for it because for 45 minutes, it was a beautiful life. Beautiful. But when it goes to shit, you crucify your brother in front of 40,000 people. You know what I'm saying? Like... What we doing, man? Listen, like I told y'all before, like, share, and subscribe to my channel, You Better Not Live Podcast. Go over to Hassan's channel and subscribe to his channel too. 